Hey you guys, it's early morning here. Um, you'll probably hear the birds. And I was pulled to do a Divine Feminine reading. I'm feeling a lot of turmoil, frustration in the Divine Feminine Collective. Um, it could be all these heavy energies that the karmic is sending out. Uh, how the masculine is also struggling right now with breaking old ties. Um, all of the black magic stuff and the, those energetic ties that were created. Um, I'm feeling Divine Feminines are definitely going through some heavy stuff. So... I'm sorry for the uh, <laughs> how dark it is. It's because there's so much sunlight and there's windows in every angle in this room. So um, my lighting is upstairs and people are still sleeping. And so I can't go to where I normally record. This is my parents' place that I'm in Guyana, South America. So I'm not even in my regular home. I, you, I'm, for those that are new, I am uh, Canadian and from Toronto. But I left because... Canada's turned into a communist country, so let's take a look. What is going on with Divine Feminine Spirit that you want to bring through for the collective, please? What is going on for the Divine Feminine in regards to their own flame connection, higher level soulmate connections, please? Thank you, Spirit. We have focused and working on things. Again, I'm so sorry about the lighting, guys. Um, can't seem to change that right now. Um... Yeah, there's definitely a need to focus and work on things to end their entrapment. We have two eights, eight of swords and the eight of eight of swords in reverse and the eight of pentacles. So really trying to focus on trapping from this energy. Uh, there you go. Divine feminines are feeling the brunt of it right now. We have divine feminine energy in the reverse and um, having an awakening of what's happening in the energy. So what I'm getting here is divine feminine, you are aware of what is going on. You're completely feeling this right now. Um, we have the five of pentacles in reverse. You're trying to build yourself up financially, do your own thing, return to yourself. But the energies are very dense right now because there's massive awakening happening. What is this awakening here, spirit? And I feel it's with your divine masculine. Yeah, it's about, um, keep coming back into this cycle over and over again of this in and out energy. And you're completely tired of it. And this is all very much in the energies, guys, between you and your twin. You're feeling your masculine wake up. You're feeling him pull back. And this is the black magic stuff that's happening. It's also uh, childhood traumas for some. Um, the masculine is um, what you really want is for him to stop fighting his illumination. And that's something that's really difficult here for these masculines. Um to end cycles and to just come forward, to come out of this hermit, this hermit mode and to end these cycles. And, um, you, you're getting tired, divine feminine. I hear you. You're getting tired. It's almost like I'm not an option, right? Like you're not divine feminine. You're not an option. Um, you never have been, and you shouldn't be treated that way. So clarify this divine feminine energy. Yeah. Wanting, um, stability, discovery, curiosity. Um, you just wanted to discover this, to see what this Ten of Pentacles could have been, you know? And um, all you wanted was a chance, right? That's all you wanted. You're not clingy like this karmic energy. So let's see how Divine Feminine is working on this energy right now, Spirit. What can you say? Yeah, for friendship or reunion. Um, but you're working on your own connections right now. You would like to untrap yourself from this and to let go of this and, and not invest in this energy. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, four of Pentacles in reverse. And not to play in this and work on your own connection, Spirit is saying. Working on your own Three of Cups to give your love, your Knight of um, Cups to things that you deserve. You want to take your cup out of this Four of Cups energy, out of the apathy. You want to take Spirit's other cup, you know, secrets, the moon in reverse, and, and move into a truthful path because this masculine is not actioning things. And so for some of you, it may be definitely slowly moving on in your path of where Spirit is guiding you with the Wheel of Fortune to get that wheel turning at least um, for your wishes, for your Nine of Cups, because this Ten of Cups isn't coming forward. It's failed. Um, it feels like a failure. And this is these are the heavy energies that we keep pushing forward in our path. It's heartbreaking through the swords, right? Um, yeah, you want to build stuff. You're ready to build in this world. You, you, you don't want to be somewhere that's stuck, the Eight of Wands, at all. It's really frustrating because this creates a lot of imbalance, a temperance in reverse. So, um, yeah, I'm so sorry about the lighting. It's so bad. Um Let's see if you can see it better that way. So it's just, uh, <sighs> yeah, 
let's see how the Divine Feminine can deal with um, the Divine Masculine right now. Let's see. Because it is definitely some heavy energies. What is going on with the Divine? How, what could you have for the Divine Feminine and how do you deal with these masculine energies right now, Spirit? With what's happening with the Divine Masculine? What messages do you have here for the Divine Feminine? How they can deal with the Divine Masculine? Spirit, what advice do you have for the Divine Feminines? <laughs> Block his ass. He needs to clean up his betrayal. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. You know what? I'm going to try a different angle. Just give me a sec. Okay, this might be better. The front view. So, block his ass, okay? <laughs> um, because he has to clean up his betrayal. And some of these masculines just can't become humble. Like, I don't understand why you just can't face your crap. Um, because it's unrequited love at this point until they can do that. So, Spirit is saying that it's very much... Um, yeah, put an end and stop trying to focus on this Divine Feminines because it's feeding the energy is what I'm feeling in the karmic energy. See things very clearly for what they are right now because um, you're deserving of so much more. And I understand this is the cycle that Divine Feminines go through. It's like you feel it in the energies. You're like, yeah, okay, it's good. And then it's back and forth. It's back and forth. And it's a balancing of the one soul that's trying to come together. But Divine Feminines are the ones that are leading the way. And so if these masculines are stuck in these energies, you have to keep uh, healing and moving forward with your own family patterns, things that you need to do in your life, and return to self. Five of Pentacles, focus on your coin. Yeah, because um, he could be in the middle of ending a relationship with the King of Cups here. Okay, he's ending the Nine of Cups in reverse. And so you don't want to get involved in this relationship for a reunion. But you can't also wait on that spirit. Spirit is saying there's still a separation that's happening here. And things have been halted with you because this masculine doesn't know how to deal. Nothing has turned for you. Okay, because this masculine, right, has massive control issues of closing off the past. He's overly controlling. Um, because that's how they've done it in their world, right? They have to follow their heart and their intuition, and that's what they struggle with, with the Two of Pentacles. So let's see. Um, yeah, he wants to come forward and communicate. Again, we see this in the energies all the time. Like, yes, I want to come forward. I want to I want to connect with you. I want to communicate. I want this. Um, but he'd have to get on a brand new path. So let's see how Divine Feminists can deal with the karmic energies right now. What's going on with the karmic energies, spirit? What? Uh, how can the divine feminine deal with the karmic situation? Because some of them are definitely throwing some shade your way. And just know, like, I'm sorry, like, I hate to say it, but they ain't got nothing on you. You know, it's like you're not even, like, don't even, with these karmic energies, they are not in your league, divine feminine. I hate to say it. You don't get to just come into a high quality mission without doing that brunt work right how can these divine feminines heal or deal with these karmic energies right now at this time spirit a lot of truth is being revealed here okay um where the truth has been suppressed so the ace of swords in reverse with the high priestess um oh, there's a mosquito um yeah no uh longer investing in this energy that the karmic is bringing through there's the massive shade it's really toxic a lot of toxicity is coming out so this karmic is being found out there's a lot of revelation here with the devil with the high priestess a lot of psychic attacks so divine feminine you are aware of that spirit is like start doing your mantras praying okay don't engage in their pain even though it's you can laugh at it and it's nice sometimes but <laughs> i get that it's almost like ha 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 bitch you deserve everything coming to you, but you can still relish in the karma, but try not to get too caught up in it. I know I can do that um, because a lot of us divine feminines are for righteous alignment, right? Um, but don't get caught up because there's a lot of toxicity here that's happening. Keep praying for their souls to move on. Their human cells may not be able to. Um, we have the uh, three cups in reverse. There's a lot of alcoholism and addiction energy that's being released right now. Um, and so whatever they're going to blame divine feminine for it obviously because they can never take ownership for themselves so um 
there's definitely going to be a lot of stuff that you're feeling divine feminine and so spirit is like just back off from the energy as best as you can um, and allow uh, the energies it's like you're creating space by not paying attention to it right now so that divine masculine can um, stop putting in a back and forth energy towards it right um, so that he can make those proper decisions because it's his karma it ain't yours divine feminine because this is why he's still at a crossroads and pushing his destiny away because when this karmic energy releases it in the energies and the telepathy divine feminine gets it and because you're sensitive you pick up on it and they try to infiltrate your, your your dreams they try to infiltrate your energy they try to infiltrate a lot of different things that you know um aren't yours because they are complete narcissists and deflect their own shit onto people and so spirit is like the protection measures claim your balance we have temperance here and um keep your truth to yourself and allow the wheel to turn as it is right now you have to break the cycle as well the temperance is out again so um don't wait around here okay um and focus on throwing shade back to this karmic um you have to just know your righteousness and if anything the anger and that energy that you're feeling of this frustration is like just completely keep moving forward and let it push you let it lever let the karmic's darkness push you into your greater self you can use it that way and be like bitch like i'm so much better than you i'm gonna show you how you actually are divine feminine and look at this this is the battle right the five of wands with the divine feminine with the empress so no waiting around because you're just creating more uh yeah look at this walk away eight of cups okay from fighting with this put an end to that cycle and that is going to help um let uh, the space for masculine to clear it up because what happens remember your one soul divine feminine spirit is saying and so when you pick up on that karmic's energy and you can feel that karmic's energy um completely throwing shade your way we obviously have a natural reaction to be angry and to be like screw off like go away get it out of your system and move on very quickly don't invest time into it okay um spirit is saying here yeah again don't focus on it don't invest time in it with the seven of pentacles and your it could be also family patterns that you're dealing with um but there is a commitment that's being ended here you know that you're feeling that and the energies are being revealed to you with the moon in reverse and separation is coming to an end so this is a precipice time not to buy into any of this betrayal they feel betrayal but you were the one that was betrayed okay you're be in your independent self single abundant and give this time to clear it's the cycle that we get caught up in the energies is that telepathic attack right it's the illusions the seven of cups in reverse ending now for clarity um because um what happens is they send shade all this toxicity gets released feminine feels it and in the energies yes you can send things out very quickly very easily and so what's happening here is um it's not giving the masculine space to really clear it up himself he has to clear it up himself okay so this contemplation it does feel good i'll admit it feels great when they get their karma <laughs> it does but we can't play in it okay um we have to learn to move on from it and um close off the past here six of cups contemplation here about how to close off the past because this bitch is upset let them be upset let them the more that you can pull away from this energetic pattern that's happening right now the better because what's happening is um they're gonna have to deal it's gonna get more potent because your energy is not in there right um the masculine will feel the feminine pull away and will give him more drive to do what he needs to do this is a juggling act this back and forth so do you see divine feminine there's a commitment ending here learn your lessons here um to not engage in this so that when the masculine feels your energy pull away and you're not engaging in this whole third party energetic crap that's going on um they're gonna realize what the fuck am i doing i have to like the, my feminine's gone if you're playing in it and still sending shade and and i know you can get angry and that frustration try to clear it up as much as possible and go into prayer as fast as you can um if you need help send me a message i'm doing readings this month to definitely help you with your situation um and i give guidance to a next step so as i can see your situation very clearly but spirit is saying um you know 
as much as you can, try not to engage in that because you're pulling the one soul with your masculine. I'm going to get some advice here. Yeah. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Pull away that energy so it grounds, that it shows that in the 3D you're actually pulling away, right? Because they need to know that. Let's see what's going on. I feel like I need to pull for uh, when you do that, Divine Feminine, uh, towards the masculine here. We have two that came out. Yeah, start um, giving to yourself with the Ten of Cups in reverse. It's just in the distance here, your Ten of Cups, okay? Um, this is a, it's a really tricky energy, guys, because it's not really 3D action. This is all psychic stuff. This is all energy work, right? And um, these karmics don't know how to do energy work. And if I know some Divine Feminines, I work with, like, high priestesses and stuff because I have a very clear channel. And so uh, if you're coming as Divine Feminine, you need some help with working with that intuition, yeah, send me a message. Um, we can definitely do an assessment and do a reading. <sighs> yeah, because your intuition is dead on, and that's why we're feeling so heavy. Uh, we got to really get into prayer, okay, Divine Feminine? Really into prayer. Knuckle it down. Give it to spirit to work on this, this stuff. I'm sorry that that's shaking. Again, I'm in my room. <laughs> so what is going on with... Um, the divine feminine towards the masculine spirit of pulling back in. Thank you, spirit wants to say, as you're pulling back your energy, this is what's going to happen for masculine, okay? So forgiveness, praying to, praying to spirit, asking for help, okay? We have the seven of swords in reverse, so a lot of truth is going to come, be revealed about why things are being delayed with the karmic energies, the queen of swords, that the illusion is going to end, the seven of cups in reverse. So the honesty that's coming through here, Okay, is okay. There's way too many, way too many. It's like 10 cards there. Um, so let's see about the seven of swords in reverse, divine feminine. Once you pull back your energy, this is going to bring a lot of honest energy of abandonment to the divine masculine where he's going to have to end a commitment here. He's not, he's going to have to king of swords move forward. Okay, um, he's going to have no choice but to communicate. So your energy withdrawal is really helping, helping, helping. <laughs> Can I talk? Um, it's really helping in because what's happening here is that it's going to end all the burdens or responsibilities that he feels tied to this karmic energy. So this is how you're going to work as the one soul, okay? Instead of being in this, you know, regretful place, um, it's going to show him the nine of cups to persevere through his wishes of what he's missed in an opportunity here and to put a halt to certain things. Put a halt to the nine of cups. Sorry for the plane. A halt to the nine of cups um, because that's all it was, right? And to stop battling his perseverance to go into energies of what he's missed in the past. So this delayed energy that he's had, he's going to be have to move forward with the eight of wands. He's going to have to move forward towards his divine feminine emotionally where he's been blocking her within, okay, where he hasn't had the courage in the past to see the truth of the situation, the ace of swords of where he's been trapped. It's going to bring a lot of clarity here. And so with this karmic energy, whoops, he's going to let his guard down. He's going to break down all the structures that they built in order to start something new. His contemplation, two of wands, of how to move forward with the divine feminine, how he's pushed her away, nothing has birth, is going to definitely start coming forward, okay? So, about where he wants to invest, finally. Emperor, look at that. He's upright. He can take proper strategic control to get his, his feminine back and how to contemplate how to move forward. And that's going to be happening. And that will happen very, very quickly, okay? So this is really um, massive more awakening. So awakenings happen in different stages. So this is the final, like, psychic stuff. You know, it has to happen in the energy. This is why I don't, like, believe all this, like, 3D stuff with Twin Flames. Like, oh, it's what you deserve. It's what you need. It's like those are such lower energies. We have to work with our with our psychic abilities and our intuition and this type of connection to divine feminines um, to know what's actually happening in the energies to work in that. So you've got to either create a ritual for yourself, a ceremony to cut your own ties to this karmic. So because there's karma with you and her too. So let's, we're going to take a look at that, but um, pray for her soul. 
but um, let her get what she needs in her human world because it, there has to be a dark and light aspect, right? There's two sides of the coin and spirit is saying, pray for the, the karmic soul, you know, because they weren't born that way. Everyone's born pure and innocent in the light of God, but that's not grounding in the energies and pray that that can ground because if, if it does ground, they would move away. They would see that they would love themselves and realize this isn't for me. Like, why am I, why am I hanging on to this human? They would know their self-worth, right? Um, Spirit is saying that this illusion with um, when you pull your energy back from this masculine is going to end and have him return to the past here. Okay, it's caught it because of the conflict that he created from this toxicity. He's going to have to take ownership in the conflict and return to the past to clean it up where he's not focusing or working on that right now. He's almost too afraid. That's why you feel the back and forth energy of where he's rejected himself because of this karmic. In <sighs> yeah. Sorry, I'm just getting another message here. So where he hasn't worked on things because of the karmic energy, he had to reject himself, to reject the Divine Feminine, and all of these illusions are ending now. And if Divine Feminine pulls away, he'll have to return to the past to face his karmic energy, the toxicity that he created with his Divine Love, with who God made him for. And um, he's going to have to do that through the rejection of the karmic energies, right? He's going to even have to end a friendship and addictions and partying, drinking, all of that, and learn how to gain and rebalance himself in this energy. Okay. So that's the importance there, divine feminine of pulling your energy back and praying for the karmic soul, but asking for righteous karma to be manifested in the earth plane is definitely something that you can do. There's Nothing wrong with that. I definitely want the karmic to get everything that she ever put out. Not just in my situation, but in other situations. Because that's the only way that they're going to grow and evolve. Let them purify in the light of God. That's what I say. Too bad. So sad. We all have to go through it. Divine Feminines have to go through it. We have to look at our crap all the time. You know? So why can't they? I don't see a problem with that. So let's take a look. And um, yeah, it's about righteous alignment. Let's take a look at... How the Divine Feminines can um, help the situation to cut those ties with the Karmic Spirit, to clear the Karmic energy from their vibration again. Some healing messages of, um, yeah, Spirit says, we're, I'm going to show you the similarities between Divine Feminine and Karmic energies right now. I think someone had posted about this. So it's very interesting um, in one of the comments last night that I responded about how everything is a reflection. So Divine Feminine, this might be a little trigger warning, but this is the similarities that we're sharing with the karmic that you need to heal as well, okay? About how quickly you want to move forward in your path. Eight of Wands, okay? The in and out action of starting something new, okay? Um, and breaking down old structures, letting your defenses go to, to go and build something new. You want to move very quickly in your path. It's like you want it now. And these karmic energies wanted it with your divine masculine, okay? Look at this. The chariot with the ten of cups. Wanting to get to a destination, not wanting to end things, okay? It's creating a, uh, um, not an ending, it's creating a delay and transformation. But it's also like bringing you... Um, Wanting to come out of this place of what you've lost, out of apathy, um, accepting that cup by the divine. Thank you. This offer, which is in the form of the divine masculine, okay, it was brought to both of you for a reason. Masculine showed up in both of your vibrations, to karmic and to divine feminine for a reason. And wanting to move this so fast ahead, breaking down structures and starting something new and getting this 10th cup and accepting this 10th cup. Because the karmics believe that that's their person, right? But you know God showed you very clearly, you and your twin, right? And... Um, Wanting to push that ahead so fast is the energy of what is driving the karmic. Because remember, karmics are narcissists. They're siphoning off the, the, the one connection through the divine masculine. They're feeling the feminine through the masculine. They don't know how to connect to source. This is how karmics work. They work in their psychic ability person to person, one-on-one. -on -one. They're empathic. They don't connect to God and connect and get messages. They connect in a 3D sense. That's why they're narcissistic. Because the devil owns this 3D world. It's a grid work that's on the planet. There's a light grid work underneath, but right now we're trying to break the dark grid work to get back into our light codes. So uh, what's happening is spirit is um, 
directing divine feminine because we connect to a higher realm. Karmics don't. They connect to the energy through people to people, situations to situations, events to events. So what's happening here is both the feminine and the karmic feminine, if you want this to end, stop trying to push things very quickly. We have the eight of wands with the chariot. We want a communication. We want to get going on this with spirits like patience is a virtue, my loves. I know. Okay. That's why the hangman is here. Sit and gain the enlightenment of the energies, my loves, okay? Because it's the building, the three pentacles in reverse. Nothing's going to build um, until we really sit in this. The wheel can't turn until we gain the enlightenment of what the betrayal is, okay? So we're at ground zero. This isn't just betrayal that's happened, the Ten of Swords. It's also, we're at ground zero. We're ready to rise. But it's almost like you're right at the groundwork and you can't quite rise yet, because um, there's still situations and enlightenment that need to happen. So this is part of that. So if you can let go of the impatience of just wanting to hurry up and move forward towards union and building this and doing this, that will disengage. Your patience is something the divine masculine requires. The divine masculine needs the feminine to do this because why spirit? with temperance needs the divine feminine to hold that temperance energy okay um that patience so that it more can be revealed for him to action what he needs to action to show the conflict of the past he needs this from the divine feminine so he can see the conflict so he can quickly move forward when it's time it will move forward but that's part of the divine masculine's role is to swiftly move towards the path and he can't do that if feminine is holding this energy of that rush like i want it now let's do it like get the Get this bitch out of the way. So the karmic is trying to show you that energy of patience, okay? That don't do what the karmic's doing. Because if you pull away, then too, this karmic is left with her own karmic shit. She won't be able to feel divine feminine to feed off of you and that passion and that anger, because that's what they do to drive and create more confusion for divine masculine. It enhances their seven of cups. It enhances their, um, yeah, it enhances their um, illusions, and their dreams, right? So I'm going to like ugh, put one leg out. <laughs> it, it completely enhances that, right? So, yeah, it's the back and forth of, of wanting. Look at this. <laughs> They're illusions, okay? Of um, You're going to have to pull back to reveal more of the truth. It's blocking the energy and the intuition, the high priestess, with the hermit pull back, okay? So that this ten of cups can come forward and um, it'll stop the back and forth. So love can happen. This Ace of Cups that's coming in. Um, yeah, because right now this Ace of Cups wants to come through, but this Nine of Pentacles in reverse with this Eight of Cups in reverse is cycling. No one's able to move forward because of the attachment. We're attached We're attached in the energy as much as we're attached in the 3D. So this will bring you victory and success completely out of this, okay? If you abandon this situation, okay, Divine Feminine? So let your guard down. All right. Um, don't be afraid of this change. You're going to avoid a massive tower is what I'm happening. You'll avoid a lot more turmoil if you do this. Let Break, break it down in the energies. Um, don't try to move forward too quickly. Do you, okay, so that you can ground it. Remember, Queen of Pentacles came up before in reverse, so you can actually ground uh, this patience that you're showing that you're not engaging with this bitch-ass cunt face energy because she's siphoning she's siphoning she's siphoning your powers through uh upsetting the divine masculine that's part of the black magic too right because she can't read for herself you think she can sit here and do this she would get all bullshit because it's all 3d stuff she can't you know um divine feminines can definitely do their own readings i can read myself because you're clear right? You don't have attachment. You trust spirit wholeheartedly. So this is about learning how to give um, to the situation in this way. And spirit is saying, you know, try not to um, push for this uh, delayed transformation here for a new beginning. Make this decision, two of wands in reverse, to let this dishonesty the, the planning to happen and any dishonesty to come forth for a divine masculine to work on because it's his dishonesty, right? Yeah, so that this lovers, the guard can be brought down, the barriers can be brought down for this relationship to flourish. Um, yeah, that's really what I'm getting here for this destiny to come forward here, okay?
so you can come into alignment. This Four of Pentacles is also when the heart and the mind are aligned. And it also can be closed off. Um, but I'm not feeling closed off. I feel it's grounded energy for this for this higher destiny and the star calling to come forward. And it'll close off, thank you, Spirit, the divine um, feminine from this narcissistic karmic loser contest bitch face. I'm sorry. I mean, I like their soul. Their soul, you can see their innocence, but their human self, ugh, make me want to purge. Yeah, it'll, she'll feel the rejection. Because that's where she gains her powers. That's how she's psychic. She she reads 3D energy. Anyone can read 3D energies. Like, what was that? Like, so, like, five lifetimes ago? Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be like that. But it's like, what? I did that, like, 20 lifetimes ago. Like, everybody has that natural ability. You can read body movement. You can read 3D energies. It's dark energy, though. The real intuition is when creator actually channels to you and gives you real insight. Like, I should keep my voice. I'm going to wake everybody up. So, like, yeah, like, whatever. Yay, you can read 3D energies. I'm so proud of you. It'll ca cause a lot of heartbreak, but it'll pull the energy back with the strength. Three of swords with the with the strength card for this. these karmics are going to have to tame their own ego. It gives them back their karma. So you want to get back at these, these karmic energies. This is what you do. You release the energy that way. They're going to feel, they, they won't be able to read the Divine Feminine to gain that oomph and that anger and that misjustice because they play in injustice through the Divine Masculine. And then the Divine Masculine will transform because he'll feel in the energies that it's just him and this this devil worshiper. And that there's going to be like a suppression of truth and it's going to force this... Um, um, more of that karmic is going to become so tense in that energy because the divine feminine has cut that that they're not going to be able to handle that at all okay so that's how you deal with the karmic energies okay um so let's see one more spirit and how is that going to affect the karmic because then the masculine is going to be forced into transformation he's not going to be able to handle that because it's already heavy Right? He's going to be like, oh my God, this woman is absolutely insane. They're going to lose their mind even more. And you kind of want them to lose their mind a little bit more because they don't want to look at their shit. So yeah, if they end up in a mental hospital and whatever, bye, like, sorry about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your soul. Like, I wish that we could help. Like, I would help the karmic uh, during ayahuasca, but she needs to know her friggin' place. Like, back off, bitch. You have no idea what I, like, don't try. Like, toxicity. Don't even try to compare yourself to me. <laughs> like, What? so like 20 lifetimes ago um what is going on and you can have that righteousness guys when you're a divine feminine own it own it god gifted it to you not to the karmic so not your problem if they can't handle it they didn't have to be evil and selfish they didn't you have a choice all the time divine feminines choose the righteousness of their love every time so what's going to happen to the karmics if the divine feminine does this spirit is like i'm going to give you a glimpse into your righteous karma thank you spirit spirit also is fire don't forget that's not just kindness and like fake love like oh i'm gonna love and light everybody no god likes righteous alignment that's why there's mountains uh earthquakes to form mountains that's why lava explodes that's why corruption and chaos happens god is also about clearing out the old to bring in the new and so yeah they're, they're not going to feel the divine masculine here all right they're not going to feel the divine masculine right because um they're going to keep returning they're going to be caught in a loop they're not going to be able to walk away they're caught in a loop but the truth will come out seven of swords in reverse about this injustice okay so they're not gonna when you pull away and you do this work divine feminine okay um <laughs> they're not gonna feel this masculine because he's ended his pain okay these karmic energies are not going to get anything six six of uh pentacles in reverse they're going to experience a loss because these masculines are going to be actioning what spirit they don't want anything on oops they don't want anything unrequited this king of wands please because the masculine is going to have a renewal, judgment, okay, a resurrection. And they're not going to give to this situation. It's going to become even worse. And because this masculine is going to end their pain, how is the karma going to feel about this blockage? It, everything's going to halt. They're going to have to be forced into being single. Completely unrequited love, okay? So this going around, them not being able to leave, they just keep coming around and around. Nothing's going to be offered. They're going to keep coming back to a brick wall. So this masculine will completely leave the situation, won't even text this bitch back, okay? Um, because the truth will definitely be the foundation of what happens here. There'll be no more back and forth. This, 
this I'm just gonna call it this contaz bitch will keep coming back keep coming back uh, for a reunion okay because they're four of cups they're four cupsing it four cupsing it that you know they can't take an offer from God to move on okay but it's gonna be dramatic as hell because they can't move on look at this the queen of the stupid snake ass cunt ass bitch I can't. I'm sorry, guys. It's going to be an 18 plus reading because <laughs> I shouldn't play in it either. I'm not supposed to play in it. Um, it's going to cause massive conflict for this woman, okay? Um, but it's going to force them because it's too hard for them to look at it. And um, the wheel is not going to turn in this relationship anymore. So whatever momentum, because they'll take any little momentum, it's not going to turn. They're going to be stuck. They're going to hit a brick wall. There's going to be zero. It's going to be massive blocking from Divine Masculine. Clarify how the Masculine is going to respond once feminines pull away how is the mask oops how is the masculine going to respond he's going to be imbalanced impatient with this with this karmic energy completely closed off because he's coming into alignment with himself the divine feminine and his destiny so his response to the karmic energy wow ending complete death with uh, ending the separation um, in this, I feel they're stuck in like some healing. Let's just keep healing. Let's keep healing a uh, healing cycle that they're in. But it's also about ending um, a separation for him, for his divine feminine. It'll be completely done. So that will be the final call. So, so you see divine feminine, what's going to happen to the karmic in that situation once you do pull that energy back. And that's why you need to pull it back. So I hope that helps you in the energy. So the seven of swords in reverse, truth is going to come out about... Um, not actioning this nine of cups anymore okay nothing's going to be active it was a nine of cups situation but that's an egoic uh situation two of swords with uh a, the karmic will be stuck in like how do i move forward nothing's getting started here it's going to cause a lot of frustration that they're going to be forced to pull back okay from their crossroads because they don't want to leave oh, god i can't with that they don't want to leave right so <sighs> And then God can deal with them. That's what I'm hearing. Um, once they can finally segregate from this, then God um, will definitely um, work on that karma with them. They're going to get even worse is what I'm hearing, okay? And it's almost like these karmics know that when this cycle actually does end, it's going to be worse. So this truth that comes out, how is that going to affect the karmic energy spirit once this all plays out? Their foundation is going to be broken. Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, they're going to have to learn the lessons. They're going to have to deal with God, the Hierophant. Uh, their traditions are unstable for the masculine. This commitment, this marriage. Okay, that they're of waiting around for nothing, waiting. They're going to be blocked um, because of uh, their fear of change. Here, they're trying to avoid their own tower moment, and so their regrets and sadness. Of this situation it's going to push them more into their regrets into their darkness and um, they're not going to be grounded in the energies either they're gonna to have to learn about self-love this page of cups here clarify this hierophant here spirit with the king of look at this yeah they're gonna to have to give themselves self-love of how they created missed opportunities for this masculine energy and for themselves they've missed out okay for the divine feminine yeah, you played with God's plan. You can't get away with that shit. So it's going to create a lot. They're going to feel that this is an injustice. No, bitch. That's called karma. That's because your heart is blocked. So um, they're going to have to discover more about this injustice because they really believe that they were the ones that were unjust, uh, unjustified in this whole situation. Like, whatever. And they're, it's going to fail. Everything's going to fail and come crumbling down that they're going to have to be a wounded warrior to persevere, to move through their own procrastination, their own delays on their own path because they haven't wanted to look at this, okay? And their illusions and the dreams and the bullshit that they make up and that they create in a 3d world and keep people trapped that's what narcissistic energy does that's what people who work in dark magic do they create and work in the dark grid to create in the 3d world illusions and things that aren't aligned with god that's what this whole system is about that's what our whole life is about there's very few that are creating life and structure out of the true alignment to source right that's <laughs> and that's what these karmics are doing it's like this is an alignment to source this is like a an illusion shit right yeah it's going to be revealed of where they've been blocking spirit yeah they're going to get their asshole ripped out of them 
they're not going to be able to fight this anymore. Their spirit's like they're going to have to learn the humbleness. They're trying to avoid it, not fight it, not focus on this because they know these karmics are going to get it. All right. So just so you know, you you got to be the instigator here, Divine Feminine, to move this forward here with the Eight of Wands. So um, things will move in your favor once you do this. And this toxicity, devil in reverse, will completely end. Wow, guys. Wow. Yeah, that was those are some intense energies. I'm going to leave a poll here, one uh, card here, or a couple cards here for Divine Feminine. Some final advice for Divine Feminine Spirit as they disengage in those energies. Don't forget, guys, I'm open for readings in June. Send me an email down below. Like this. Subscribe, please, if you enjoy. Welcome to all my new subscribers and my returning ones. You know, I love you guys. Um, yeah, if you want to email me, info at renawells.com if you want a reading um check it out um let's take a look here what is going on? i do live reading so we get to sit face to face as well i'm also doing 30 minute uh, recorded sessions if you want to but let's see some advice here for divine feminine please spirit just to close off the reading as we move forward so i hope that alleviated some of the energy i know i definitely feel better with those messages too so I hope that helps you. Um, and, and the reason why I, I tell you guys, like, I'm not reading myself, just so you know. I'm reading the collective, but I am a trailblazer in the collective for twins. So what I get through me is definitely applying to a lot of people as well. And so if you're resonating with a lot, there's definitely... Um, yeah, energies that are happening. That was the hangman in reverse, but I wasn't ready. So, yeah. Okay, Spirit, what's final messages that you have here for Divine Feminine? Okay, Divine Feminine, here we go. Divine Feminine Energies. Okay, keep discovering yourself and working on your abilities. Okay, keep finding out about yourself. Um, because the more that you focus on that, you block this karmic's energy. She won't be able to read this in and out energy anymore. So keep, keep doing that. And that's exactly what the reading was saying. Okay, don't offer your cup or your focus or your heart. Because Divine Feminines are naturally aligned. So immediately when you focus on it, um, it completely fuels it, right? So don't give that. It's helping the Divine Masculine by not offering that cup there to this situation right now. It's going to help him ground this love. Wow, look at this. So just realize that, okay? King of Pentacles with this Ace of Cups. As you stay in that Divine Feminine energy, come into prayer. Keep discovering more of yourself, okay? Keep doing what you know you're meant to be doing here. We have your intuition, with the high priestess okay and the two of wands and contemplate how you want to keep moving forward for your ten of cups okay it's in the distance okay um it's coming it's going to clear up a lot of the dishonesty seven of swords in reverse so just realize that that that's exactly what's happening here and you keep holding strong with your strength and pull back that's a pulling back energy too right to tame that ego because that's an anger and stuff because i know injustice has been done i get it i get it and, and for me, it's not just by one person, it's by a whole fucking tribe, you know, including my masculine. My masculine even agreed to do black magic against me. Like, I, like, whatever. Um, so, all of that's coming back. They have to deal with some heavy energy. So, just, just sit with your alignment with Source and, and send prayers to their soul and ask for the righteous karmic uh, completion to happen in the 3D. So block, it's going to block this karmic from doing any kind of intuition um, and spell work so that you can quickly move forward, okay, through this toxic time, the devil, okay, and ending um, any types of burdens here. They're not, they're going to get their, their devil energy back to them. Look at this. Uh, it's going to cause a lot of heartbreak here. This masculine is going to give him oomph though to end his heartbreak. Okay. But we have three of swords with the king of swords with the, with the lovers in reverse. So this toxic energy, it's going to force him to move forward, aim that arrow. Okay. To avoid even more of, um, Three of Pentacles in reverse, so breaking down structures and avoiding a massive tower moment. You don't want to, he wants, you want him to be somewhat intact when he comes back to you, okay? So by doing this work, it helps him to see that toxicity a lot clearer and, and not the illusions uh, that this karmic is doing and to see the injustice so that he can persevere with the justice in reverse with the nine of, of wands, okay? He's going to gain his strength here to move forward. So pull back your grounded energy, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Divine Feminine, and hold that Empress mode, okay? Um, keep going. Again, 
things will, will be woken up for you. We have the hermit, okay, with that in and out energy, okay? Things aren't moving forward yet, but the drama just pulled back your energy. You're waking up into, you know, where things don't give to the energy. Six of Pentacles, things are being revealed, the moon in reverse, okay? So keep moving forward, all right? You're going to wake up. What are you going to wake up to, Divine Feminine? You're going to be able to passionately action something else, your happiness here, okay? A lot of, it's going to access a lot of illumination for you and for your Divine Masculine. We have four of wands on the bottom, which is union. All right, guys, I hope you liked that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd love to hear your comments on that. I hope that helped you. Let me know. And thanks for bearing with me, not in my regular setup. Um, I don't know when I'm going back to Canada. I don't know if I ever will go back to Canada. We'll see what happens with Communist Canada. But anyway, send you guys so much love. Bye, guys.